uh, let's backtrack a little bit. When you played a scream the last time you were on the air last week, yeah. it just blew my mind. That scream occurred when you hit the alien. When did the scream occur? Well, no, that scream didn't occur when I hit the alien. All right. After we had basically examined the alien three days after bringing it back, I had gone into the garage to uh, put some things away, and I noticed that there was a sound underneath the freezer. At the time, I thought it was the compressor possibly going out. I thought about rats, and I thought about if it was either one, I'd probably have to move this body. Mm -hmm and clean out my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. But as I, uh, as I looked closer, there were no rats and the compressor seemed to be working. But I still heard a sound, a scratching sound, almost a thump scratching sound. And it was coming from inside the freezer. This is, uh, this is where I personally would begin to have a problem. If I heard that, there is no way on God's green earth that I would go and open that freezer. But that's what you did, isn't it? Well, it's, again, it, it happened very quickly. I was, I was actually angry because I had set up an appointment for a, uh, a friend to come over and look at uh, the body mm -hmm. to do a more intense examination and that examination was canceled without any reason and, and no reason given and it was done in such a way that I knew there was either somebody had gotten to this other person or he was afraid and I was very angry I was very frustrated and so I was literally putting things away in frustration and was angry, and at the time I heard this noise, I wasn't thinking about anything. And I opened the lid of the freezer, and I could see that it was moving. It had actually opened the top of the thermal blanket, and the arm was moving across the side of the inside of the freezer. I slammed the door of the freezer yeah. and ran like hell in now, the house. Now that I would have done. Uh, had I been foolish enough to open the door, had I seen what you saw and heard what you heard, maybe that'd be it. I mean, this thing by then had been in the freezer how long? At that point, approximately three days. You know, somebody called me earlier today. This has been um, a conversation now for days since our last interview. Everywhere. Everywhere is right. And... Uh, somebody said, oh, come on, um, there's no way that the creature would be alive after being in the freezer. However, what do we know about this creature's physiology? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, for all we know, it might have liked the cold. And also, we do know that there are creatures on our Earth that can survive all winter long in the Antarctic in the freezing cold. Hibernating, that's true. Well, not only hibernating, but, you know, being alive and well and feeding. Penguins experience, you know, 30, 40 below zero. It's true. 